Hey guys, welcome back. Alright, so, we've got one lead now, and that is Baxter, the police officer who's been looking into the investigation of the Bell Killer. He's been looking in a bit too deep though, so we're gonna kind of- Oh shit, me! Oh my god! I just- Oh... That scared me. <laughs> I was not expecting that noise! <laughs> right in my ears and my headphones. Shit! Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Alright, here's a go. There's two over there as well. This guy. Okay, we want to be getting. He's got. His... He's going to come this way now. We'll turn his back. We'll take him out. Come on, Mick Jagger. Is he going away? He's going towards that wall first. You bitch! I'm gonna get you for scaring me. Shit! I won't see me. Can I take him out while they're doing this? Doesn't look like he's chasing me down though. So when they're searching for you, you can't um, take him out. Oh, he's gone. Where's he gone? He's right there. Shit. Where's he gone? Okay, he's got his back to us now. There's one more over there. Let's see some hide to hide. Yeah, he's coming this way, almost. Got his back turned now. Let's go get him. Let's go around the side. I think that's all of them. I think there's only three. Right, let's go. There's no one there, is there? No. Oh, police officers. Alright, let's make our way to Baxter's apartment then. Let's hope this train's not here anymore. Looks like it's gone. Couldn't we have just jumped out the window like the girl did? That'd be a lot better than just you know, trying to figure out how to get out of this place. Alright, this. Got a text. Did you hear something else happen just now? Something bad. What happened? Someone told me about a murder. Another one? No, like this just happened. Police are all freaking out. What happened? I don't know. Oh, for God's sake, he's going on too far. She doesn't know anything. She just knows someone's being killed. Why does glasses float in the air? Okay. Um. Yeah. So the we now we know why Joy's mother Cassandra was. Was any demons here? We we know why she was um, being targeted now. It's because she's a medium, and he believes them to be witches, and that's why she's a target. Maybe Joy's also a target because she can talk to people. Um, where's the exit? <laughs> Which way did we come in? That's the east wing. We didn't come in that way. Did you hear what that guy just said? Something horrible just happened at St. Benedict's. People are talking about another murder just just happened. What's St. Benedict's? Uh, we've seen, we'll probably see find out just now. As soon as we get out of here. So Iris was in the church. Joy was out on the streets. Let's hope it's not her. I don't know where Cassandra's mom is. We haven't seen her yet. The police must have linked it by now. That they're all mediums. That's a big obvious link. You know, when you look at the occupation, it says medium. It kind of tells you. Okay, we're going to get to the church and see if Joy's okay and Iris. That's changed our path now. We were heading towards Baxter's apartment. But this is our new priority. Make sure our little helpers are safe. Were the girls head were the police heading towards the church? Didn't really say. We're just going to we're just being told to go to the church now by the game. Oh, St. Benedict's crap. That's the, that's the name of the church. That's where people just said in the museum where there's been an accident or a murder. 
Oh crap. Cops and criminals get used to red and blue flashing lights. Even after you get numb to them, sometimes they still chill your bones. You can get that feeling that this time, they mean something personal. Thank God you're okay. No, no, Joy, Joy, don't! Damn it! Lieutenant, got her sneaking up the side staircase. Says she's a friend of the priest. Where's Father McCauley? Is he all right? Just put her in my car. I want to interview her myself. Can somebody remind Broyles that the door's not going to watch itself? Yes, sir. It's a simple question, please! Take it easy on her. Hey, anybody find Baxter yet? Nope. Went to the station, drove by his place, nothing. You know, there's definitely something wrong here. I mean, honestly, have you ever seen anything like this? Huh? After this stuff, it feels like a goddamn riddle. I don't know. I just seem so demented. Demented. I gotta find this crime scene before they cart away all the evidence. Okay, so Joy's okay. We need to make sure Iris is okay. She's got a feeling that she's not, and also Baxter's not here, so let's portion it more towards the, the link that Baxter might be there. Oh, for fuck God, you bitches! <laughs> How many are there? There's three. There's only birds in here that we can use to distract. It's a pity that these um, <laughs> ghost residues aren't a bit closer together, you know, in between the gaps. Right, so there's, there's uh, if this guy in the middle goes away, which is not. Okay, they both turn round. If this one turns around now in the middle, we can get him. Let's get him. I think the other one's seen me. Did that one see me? No, he didn't. It, sound, it sounded like in my headphones that he was screaming, but it must have been the one that we were killing. Okay, that guy's looking away still. He's still walking away. He's got to turn around. Get him. Okay, this guy's coming towards us right now. So he does his little Mick Jagger walk and stops and turns around. We'll go execute him. Send him back to the underworld. Is that a weird angle right there? He might see us. Go around a long way round. Because I think he walks over there now, yeah? He walks towards that wall. Okay. That's all the demons that did that with. Okay, I think Iris was upstairs. Probably the same place that Joy was when she was um, being hiding. Shit, we need to get past this now. Um, Where's the... With the priest when you need him. You can't walk through the wall. You can access his poltergeist. Make the cop walk over, then jump in him when he walks back. Nothing sacred to this guy. This guy. Is the priest being killed? Because they um, Ronan's brother-in-law. Oh, here we go. Is the crime scene? Okay, something's fell on him. Doesn't look like a straight-up murder. Let's see if there's any bell markings. Shit, it's Iris. That was in the museum, wasn't it? The rocks over the body. So this is another one. Yeah, there's the bell. 
what how how exactly did the iris die um crush the death statue stones improvised weapon i don't think it's, it's not accidental obviously because uh there's a bell marking i'm gonna say improvised weapon yep I don't think it's improvised though, because that's in the museum, so it's definitely planned. It's got the ropes over it. So she's trying to get away, it looks like, in that flashback. Brute force. Toppled over. Heavy. So that's a ghostly image of that, what was there before it fell. Crushed, in crushing impact. What does that mean? Only something powerful could crack the ground like this. Probably after falling from a height. So I think that was lifted into the air and it dropped and then fell to water. So that's where it landed and it fell to water. There's another clue over here, glass. Is that from the attic window, maybe? She'd been fell fall out the window. Looks like that's the window that smashed, maybe. Right, there's one more clue. Inside the crime scene. Is it outside of it? Um, that's number one, two. Here we go, two. Bloodstain. She's been dragged. That must be Iris's blood from when she was trying to get away from the killer. Yep, she was backing away. So she must have fell out that window. Let's conclude the investigation. Yeah. The open window. Hospital, she'd still be alive. Don't hold too tight to what's keeping you here. Just remember, this wasn't your fault. I'm sorry. What else did he do here? Well, at least you can move on to the afterlife now of her sister. Okay, so it's that window. It's one floor up. Let's go check it out. Okay, we can't go over there. <laughs> There's the cat about. We can jump into the window. <laughs> There's an open door here. Okay. Where are we? Okay, so it started off on the floor above. This is the floor. I need demons this time. <laughs> here we go. It's the crime scene. Shit, more people killed. Whoa. Oh shit. Can I find my killer's trail? <laughs> Let's see what all this was. What's this? She's pushed people out the way. Because there's there an event going on near a, a marriage. And she's run through it while running away from the killer, it looks like. So what's she doing? She's scared. Falling. Needs help. Because she ran through here, these people got killed as well. The bride and groom. Twisted! No chance! <laughs> Glass. Destroyed. So the victim's beaten as well. What do those clues say? There's broken glass here. Yeah. Beaten victim. The killer ruthlessly, ruthlessly attacked these people. Didn't stand a chance. Lady, you still with us? What you was the weapon he used? Talk. Hang on. I probably can influence her to talk. But before we do that, let's just see if we can get a few more things to maybe 
give us a better chance of influencing her. I don't think there's anything going to be over here. Not if this was disturbed. Maybe he goes a dead body here. One of the waiters. Overpowered. He was thrown. His backs are strong because this this um, suspect is uh, well the killer is very strong. He's still on the window ledge. Is that where Iris jumped? Yeah, they both jumped. They both went that way. He, he must have like thrown her off, and she she jumped off and hit her legs, and he, he followed her. Okay, someone's been thrown against the window. Yep. Okay. Let's see if we can influence her. What would make her think about the killer? The killer murdered them. Why the killer murdered them? Sorry. Beaten victim, I was fleeing, thrown victim. It's gonna be Iris, because that was the start of it. He, he murdered them because she he was going after her and they were in the way. Yep. That girl was running away. That's who he's after. Not the rest of us. Getting pretty good at this detective stuff. <laughs> Conclude. Okay, all right, everyone, let's get this picture. We've got to get to the reception now. Everybody, get Please, let me through. Hey, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, wait, it's a little. Oh, let me go. Let me go. He's, he's here. Look, you need to back off. Whoa. Oh, you should have rolled. Load the impact. No, no, no. They, these weren't normal Bell Killer murders. These people were just in the way he was after Iris. I wonder if there's more evidence in Joy's room. This guy's got some moves, hasn't he? Like Tekken moves, like where he just <laughs> grabs the wrist and flips them over. Like Tai Chi, is it, or something? <laughs> um. How did we get upstairs last time? We got upstairs last time with the cat. Uh, but how did we get down last time? This was the cat again, wasn't it? Through the window. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Where's the kitty? Unless someone's going to be using the lift. That's going to be our only option. Okay, it's the crime scene room. There's stairs here, nice. Still must have been closed last time. Shit, the priest is dead. Everyone's dead. Man, how am I gonna tell her about you? Why was the killer here? He was here for Iris, because she is a medium. What did the killer do up here? Let's look at the clues. What's making that sound? The wound. It's like crush, crushing her skull. There's the cat four prints there. <laughs> it's the sound of his neck snapping, I'd say. trying to protect Iris. I'm sure that won't make it sting any less for joy. Damn it. Must have landed on his neck. Uh, what else have we got? What have we got in actual Joy's room? Something to bring back here. He's looking at a photograph of her, Joy and her mother. What's the killer doing? He's discovered the photograph. And he is staring at the photograph, I'd say. So they walked in. Maybe he was actually looking for Joy and they walked in on him. 
that's what made him kill everyone. And there was a witness, so he chased her down. Who kn I don't even know if maybe he doesn't know that Iris was a medium. There's a cat here, anyway. Spooked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's in the next room? The, the vent's open this time. That was closed last time we were here. Um, One more clue. Okay, here's the last clue. It's the cat's paw prints next to the body of the priest. Yep. Alright, let's find an answer. What, what did the killer do up here? He was interrupted by looking at the photograph. Yep. There's two more options. He killed him. No, I'm with the... I don't think the cat's going to have anything to do with it. It's going to be the other two options, isn't it? Because the cat was just there, just watching and hissing. Dropped photo, and he killed him. That was an easy one. I don't think she's the most ideal roommate. A little rough around the edges, but I'm sure you like the room. And in time, you'll both get along really well. Don't worry. I can get along with most anyone. Excellent. Well, this is the room. Here we are. Father? What's wrong? Go! Go! The killer came here looking for joy, but took out Iris instead. This is a friggin' dead end. So where's Baxter? If he's not here, he's got some explaining to do. Well, what about you? You see anything? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> that, um, the killer's got some kind of superhuman abilities, hasn't he? Like power. Where he's just pushing people and he fly across the room. Find out what the cat saw. Cuts up here now. Easy, kitty. Easy, easy. It's your old buddy Ronan. <laughs> what the hell was that? The killer dropped something in the vent. Maybe the cat can help get to it. The vent was open, though. So maybe the killer tried to get it out before it got away, but... Obviously, must have fell down a bit, so he couldn't reach it. All right, where is it? Huh, it's not even near the front of it. How the hell would it have gone this far down? What? Oh! <laughs> Thanks for the help. So the key fell through the vent into this the party room. Here's the key. <laughs> what makes the sound? The fork, spoon, yeah, yeah, we're looking for the spoon, aren't we? Yeah, the key. <laughs> Looks like the courthouse. I know that house. I've seen that house. It's the judgment house, I think. That was in the ex exhibition in the museum. Yep. That's it. The killer's hideout. I need to get to Judgment House. Okay, that's the next step then, his hideout. Well, he's Will he be able to get in now though, because he hasn't got a key? <laughs> so the old Judgment House might be there where the bell killer is right now. Start investigation. Um, I'll go. All right. Before we move on to find this um, bell house, um, bell killer's house, we're gonna cut this part here. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you wanna see more and keep up to date with the daily videos I'm putting out, please do subscribe and like. Uh, it really helps. Thanks. See you later, guys.